so inspired as a 17 year old to see women taking up roles of leadership humor. <laughs> Because we are the naturals. 
Once we are liberated, we liberate everybody in the family. The woman is the gateway. Remember, we talk of patriarchy, but we are the ones who raise everyone. Once we are raised in patriarchy, we pass it on two generations, to both men and women. So we have a task, one, to unlearn, because it's already implanted in us. To unlearn on a daily basis, it's a lifelong venture. And then, to prepare the next generation without the patriarchy. So we have a job to do. And you know, we raise our families. We don't raise them alone. That's why there are so many charmers. You want peace, you call a few to support you. You want to improve your house, you call a few. We have those charmers that help us to organize our homes, our families, our businesses. We must continue. We organize families, we organize communities, we organize the nation, and we organize the world. I see what we are doing as bigger than a Kenyan thing. One, we want to teach ourselves to own campaigns. For candidates, we believe in. To own campaigns of women who will carry the other women on their back. We don't want women who will get into the space and forget their identity. So we want to nurture ourselves to be the women who carry the women and who carry their families, their communities, and the nation and the world. If you look around, whether in our religious organizations, in our schools, in the community, the Harambe spirit, the bulk of those who participate without missing, even when they don't have much to share, is the women. It is the women who will come with a little of their farm produce with a little of the food they should be cooking for their families because they didn't have cash. It's the women who will come in and bring their labor as a contribution. Women never miss out, even when they have nothing. They have their love, their spirit of community to offer. I think we need to usher a new dawn, not just for women, but for our country. What are campaigns about? Is it about the candidate giving or is it about the community owning for their parties, for the candidates they believe in, and giving their time like you gave this morning? This is not a paid engagement. You came in the rain because you believe in. I want to salute all of you. You are here to stand up for Kenya. And we want to raise a nation that stands up for itself. And do you know what? It's not just about the campaigns, the volunteerism, and the money that goes into it. It's also about when we occupy positions of power. You who is a counting clerk, you who is a presiding officer, you who is a returning officer, if you stood up for Kenya, we would not have disputed elections. Because you would do your duty and you would be standing up, not for candidates, for your country. We need a nation that stands up for itself. We need a nation of integrity. We talk of institutions, but institutions are you and me. We are the ones who will mess up or raise Kenya. And I'm asking you this morning, as naturals, because women are naturals. Let us stand up, not just for ourselves, not just for man. Let us stand up for Kenya. We want a nation where we all have space, where our children and our grandchildren, for those of us who are in that stage of granny, we want a nation where our children, our grandchildren have space and can have opportunity to be what they desire to be. Each depending on their talents and their effort. That's what we are looking forward to. We are looking forward to raise a strong Kenya. I want to urge you, with the determination of a woman, nobody raises a frail baby 
to a chest thumping man, leader, or woman without the determination and resilience of a woman. So God has built you to be strong, and I know of nobody as strong as a woman. We don't carry, a, carry it on our faces. We don't wear it as a badge. But think of your mother of the woman next door, and you will realize that in truth, strength is the other name of a woman. Determination is the other name of a woman. Resilience is our name. Generosity is another name for women. A woman will serve, leave herself with nothing, and serve her children and a guest who has come in. Without that giving spirit, you cannot nurture. You cannot nurse because every woman is a nurse, whether trained or untrained. Sick people in the household belong to women. Those who are unable to fend for themselves, if there is somebody with disability who must be cared for, with a severe disability, they belong to a woman. I once did a case where the man almost blamed the wife for their disabled child. Until it outraged a male judge so much that he ordered the man to shut up. Because it was so disheartening. But every person who needs help in the home and paid care work is the other name of women. So by nature, by socialization, you have a giving heart. Even when we try to be mean, such yourself, you still have a giving heart. Let's be true to our nature. Let's give to our country. Let's give to our family, to ourselves first, to our families, to our communities, and to the nation and to the world. And we will surely get there. So today, it's a call to action. Action because we care. We care about the environment we live in, the social environment. We care about the rising cases of domestic violence and especially gender-based violence. We care about the many cases of violence, even in our institutions of learning. We care about how violent our society has become. We must go back to factory setting and raise a caring community, starting with our families. And in the campaign, it's a caring community too. We are looking for leaders. Remember what you tell your child. I know not of a mother who tells their children to become police. I know of no mother.